Okay, so coil, abusive, tether, seems fine. My deck tracker is not working. I don't know why it does that. Alright, let me just restart it. Then a coin tether. Pull up with the juggler. I like imp. Alright, deck tracker show. There we go. And you thought you're a gatekeeper, L U L? Yeah. Never a gatekeeper. We have Abusive Sergeant, so basically we deal with any animal companion. There are times when you when uh, playing the Imp is actually better, but depends on your hand. Faces is good against Hunter. You can just um, you can just faces their high main. Got all his toads. The annoying thing about facing hunters these days is that so many people run deadly shot. It's so bad against aggro, but it's good against mid range and control decks where you only have a couple of minions on board. It's, I don't know. It's just a terrible card against token decks, though. Oh, do you mind explaining the playstyle of this deck really quick? Sorry if you've done it a hundred times already. So the playstyle is that it's um, you try to control the board. You have a lot of like early game control minions. Like in game boss is one of the most excellent three drops out there. Uh, Squire abusive. You have double coil. So you have a lot of early game, and you just are able to control the board until you get your combo pieces for the Leroy, the Leroy combo. And you have some late game too with Draxus against control decks like Priest and Warrior. You might need to you might need to go into Draxus mode. So this is a weak deadly shot. But at least it prevents high main or any kind of board development. And then we're looking for Hellfire and Shadow Flame to deal with uh, Call of the Wild. And it's mostly going to be playing on curve. Like, you really want to curve out well with this deck. So, he has like double call the wild that he's hanging on to. There's a hellfire. Alright, so we have an answer. That's good. Uh, I'd like to get a PO, I guess. And we'll up, load up the board too. Have some answers to trade into those minions. So, then we don't necessarily have the hellfire. We can just trade. So the piggy goes into here. Piggy, right here. This is like handlock. It's not exactly handlock. It's a like it's a combo deck. Shameless promotion. Okay. Uh. Yeah, how much damage do I have? <laughs> uh. This is 12, 14, um, 
17, 20, so I'm five off lethal. If he plays a second Call of the Wild, do I have lethal? 15, 15 in terms of buffs in hand. Um, and then we can face this. We can face this a piggy. Unfortunately, we can't play both Hellfires. We can only play one Hellfire and face this a piggy. No, that doesn't work. We can't face this a piggy either because a piggy dies when we Hellfire. Or we could face this first, and then PO the piggy. So I guess that works. So that's 15, 18, that's 4, it's 22. We, set, we cleared the board and set them down to, no it's like 21. So it's like this, and then like PO this, and then PO this, and then this, and then this. And then we just uh, set them up for Hellfire Lethal, I guess. The plays! Hey, something Wong, welcome back. Can you explain the matchup for OTK Warrior versus Midrange Hunter? What's the win condition? Probably Patron. If you can make Patrons early, then that's the best, that's the most solid win condition, is to make Patrons. Good, we didn't drop out of rank one. Feels good, man. 